<sighs> What's up, people? I am back for another video. Today, I am going to be... It's actually going to be more of a rant video. It's not really going to even be uh, like a review, but... You know, I've just been noticing this trend. I mean, I know... And here's the... Sequels have always existed, but it was at least back then. Sequels made sense, like, right? Like, Jaws. You know, I'm okay with the Jaws 2. I think they should have stopped after that. But Jaws 2 is like, okay, I'm cool with that. Then you got, like, Lost World because that was a book. And Terminator 2 made Like, sequels at least then made sense, you know, because there was more story to tell. Now we're giving sequels to shit that doesn't even make any, like, why are we doing Gladiator 2? Like, like I was talking about this yesterday a little bit. Like, why? Who fucking asked? You don't need a Gladiator 2. And if anything... Maximus was the main character. While, you know, Commodus was a great villain, Maximus was the, the main character, and he's dead. He died. Where, where do you go? And now, like, you're going to make it about, like, the dude's son? Like, why? Why? And the casting is weird, too. It's just, like, we don't need a, a Gladiator 2. Like, now that's just a meme. Gladiator 2, Electric Boogaloo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it... It is so stupid. It, it's not just that sequel. It's this sequel culture we're in now where everything needs a sequel. You got to do sequel to this, a sequel to that. You know, I mean, I'm the casting looks good for Beetlejuice too, but even that a little bit, it's like, do we really need it? You know, like, do we really need a Beetlejuice too? Like, Top Gun Maverick, for example. That worked, and even then... I was a little hesitant, but that worked because they, they actually, obviously the makers of this the, that movie genuinely love Top Gun. But I also think Top Gun, to an extent, there is a little bit, you could theoretically do a sequel to that. But just, they're doing sequels to shit that just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't call for a sequel, but they're just doing it because, you know, like, in, even now, like, we're doing, like, I like the movie, but Talk to Me 2, Violent Night 2, Fucking the, the worst one of them of uh, is the black it's black phone. I'm like why? Black phone was such a nice one off story. It's like Hollywood is so scared to just do one off stories now. Like they just can't just fathom something being one. And then you know what the fucked up thing is the thing that actually should get a sequel, like Dread, doesn't get one. But we got to Gladiator two though. Like come on, you're gonna do like. There should be, like, a sequel to shit that actually makes sense. Like, you'll never hear me cry about comic book movies getting sequels because, ultimately, there's enough comic stories you could do it. Like, you'll never hear me cry if they ever do, like, let's say this is Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man trilogy. Not gonna cry about there being three movies because Spider-Man, there's enough comic lore to tell a story, you know? Like, theoretically... In a perfect world, comic book characters you can kind of do forever because they have so many storylines. <coughs> horse, yeah, you can kind of do a million sequels. Certain horror characters, <coughs> I'm okay with getting a sequel because there's enough story. Like Megan is a more recent example. They can do a million of those because she's an AI, so she kind of can just go into a different body. <coughs> you can always have a new core set of victims. Final Destination is death. You just new new core crew of characters. That's the franchise that could go on forever. So I think there are exceptions, but why does like it's just this weird like need for everything to have a continuation? Like not even just a sequel. Like even with shows, like we got to bring this twenty year old show back because we feel like we need a continuation. When like no, it wrapped up fine. Because when you do a sequel, especially something that's like perfectly wrapped up, you when you do it, sometimes you undo what. The story having it be wrapped up now, you, you ruined it. Star Wars is like a perfect example of that. Or <coughs> sorry about that. Um, I think it's this obsession too. With, um, like, just <coughs> ending. Like, this, there used to be a point we could just end a story. 
can that be done? And I think people are scared of that. Like they, these studios just want to keep things going, and then they ruin it with sequels. Sometimes I think certain things, obviously, obvious, and I was maybe for more sequels back then when it made sense. You know, I was always down for a Halloween movie, another Jurassic Park movie, because in the world, like John Wick is another example where there's enough story to tell there that you can kind of go, may not forever, but at least more than two movies because, you, you know, you have the, the, the high table, you have the, the Continental, there's enough story there. You can even spin off, granted, they fucked, off this, they fucked up the spin off, but, you know, and it's even like this prequel thing too, like everything needs a prequel. Like, and yeah, you could say it started with the Star Wars prequels, but at least the Star Wars prequels, it was a story you wanted to see, even if you didn't necessarily like the execution. People were kind of interested to see how Anakin became Vader and how Order 66 happened and how the Empire came to power. Granted, that's all been ruined with what Disney's done later on, but still. So at least that prequel made sense, but now they're just doing prequels to shit that no one asked for. Like, you know, I watched the Hobbit movies. I didn't really, I, in a way, they're kind of a prequel to the original Lord of the Rings. I, you know, they're all right movies, but I don't necessarily think they need to exist. I didn't really need to see what happened before Lord of the Rings. I don't need, like, they're doing a prequel to the fucking Omen. Who, wh what? Is that thing you, just the, just the devil fucking? Like, <laughs> like, why? Or Pet Cemetery, the one that, that came out a couple of months ago. Why? Like, Pet Cemetery is a one off story. Like, God, like, just sometimes, man, just leave things as one off stories. We don't always need a prequel. Because I also think when you add a prequel that's unnecessary, you kind of ruin the origin. Because, like, maybe you have a character who's, like, this badass, but then you do a prequel and you might ruin the perception of the character because there's some unnecessary shit you added. And I think that's the other problem with prequels, too, is you sometimes add a lot of unnecessary shit and you kind of blood muddy the water of the story. So sometimes, you know what, just let things be a one-off story, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. Being a one-off story, not everything needs a sequel. Not everything needs a continuation. Not everything needs a prequel. It, it's it's And also, prequel is another way to, for them to milk a franchise. Oh, we're not doing a sequel, we're, but it's still a way to milk the franchise in a way. And I think that's what these studios are doing right now. But it's... It is frustrating because, you know, why I liked Megan was, was it was an original, but it was at least something that's not based off an IP and it isn't a sequel, you know? Um, Oppenheimer, not a sequel. And you know it's never going to get a sequel. I guess technically, if you're one of, you know, I'm one of those who considers it a, it's a sequel. The sequel would be Godzilla Minus One, but, like, it doesn't have, like, an actual sequel. You're not going to get Oppenheimer 2, you know what I mean? Like, at least when, like, Predator. Predator is another example. Like, Predator and Alien, I'm okay with them having sequels because there is enough lore there with just the Predator and the, you know, the Yatcha and the Xenomorphs that, yeah, you kind of can do them. Granted, they kind of fucked up some of the Alien sequels, but Predator too, because there's more of a story to tell with the Predator. But not, like, but I think we're just doing sequels to shit that just doesn't need one. You know, like, sometimes let things just be a one-off story, Hollywood. You used to have that, like, at least back then, there was a balance of, yeah, there were sequels, but there were still a lot of one-off movies, you know? League of Extraordinary, I know, it is, I know it's not a great movie, but League of Extraordinary Gentlemen never got a sequel. It was a nice one-off little action story we got, you know? I'm, I'm not against sequels, but at least have the balance of one-off stories every now and then. But it's like, you do get them, but then sometimes, like, like or you think this is going to be a one-off story. Nope, it's getting a sequel. It, you know, Black Phone. Oh, you know, you think it's a nice one-off little horse, or nope, it's getting a sequel. Why? It doesn't need one. Black Phone was a nice one-off little horror tale about a serial killer who kills kids. You know, and one of them escaping. And, and you know, with the, the, the spirits of some of the victims helping out the main kid, Finn. That's all it needed to be. It didn't need a sequel, because now you're going to do what? Are you going to make, uh, have a feeling they're going to make the killer... They're going to have the grabber be a spirit or some shit. It's going to be dumb. It doesn't need one. Like you can't hurt you. He died. It's just Hollywood. Let things just be a one-off story, you know? Like Violent Night, you know? I am i don't really see what you can do with a Violent Night too. I mean, I did say maybe you could do him versus Krampus, but even then, 
it's still like, does it really need a sequel though? You know, Violent Night could just be a nice one-off story about Santa, basically Santa Die Hard, and just let it be a one-off. You know, I just Hollywood let things be a one-off. Extraction, I'm okay with a million extraction films because they're action flicks. So you can just have Tyler Rake do another mission. I think, okay, I do think there are certain genres that are definitely apt for sequels. Action and horror are like the top two for that because action, if he's like a, if the main character is a, a cop, a military guy, FBI or CIA, some kind of organization or a mercenary, you can always just have the, the next movie be a different job. You know, Lethal Weapon is always just a different, a different case. You know, or sci-fi to an extent, too, because sci-fi, there's, like, Alien and Predator. There's, like, more that you could build off of. Horror is the same thing, like, you know, with a slasher killer. And always, you always just can find a new group of victims if you don't want to, you know, have the same cast all the time. But, yeah, aside from that, even then, though, I do think there are exceptions. Not every horror or action movie or sci-fi movie needs a sequel. Sometimes let things just be a one-off. Sisu, really great film. I really loved it from last year. I do not want a Sisu too. I I don't need it. Like, where would you even go? What, he kills another group of Nazis? Or would, would it be the Russians again? Like, yeah, you might get some great kills, but it's really not needed. Sisu was a nice one-off story, you know? And I think that's just sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes it's great to have just a one-off story. Scarface worked because it was a one-off story. You know, yeah, there's the video game. That's not fully canon. But yeah, anyway. I'm going to call it here since the helicopter's fucking coming anyway. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be doing X-Men Dark Phoenix. We're going to be roasting the fuck out of that. <sighs> it's so bad, man. Uh, for one, Sophie Turner was not even the right choice to play game. She played her so bland. And then you're going to... Jean is... A, a very emotional character and if you can't show that i don't think she can she did not show it in dark phoenix and then you get that cringy line x women yeah it was awful so we'll be roasting that tomorrow um and friday i'll be doing transporter too and it's perfect since um jason satham has a new movie coming out beekeepers uh, i think next week so why not do a jason satham franchise so get back into it since i i took time because it was if I remember, it was because Halloween was coming. Because it was, uh, I, did, I did the first one, like, late. It was later, mid-September, and Halloween was coming up. And then Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Christmas happened. So it just kind of got hard back into get, getting back into those. But now I can. So I'll be doing that. So, but aside from that, yeah, just I'm just over the sequel culture. And, like, I'm not against sequels. There are some that I'm okay with. But there are just some that don't need one. Oh, 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 there's another one I'll mention really quick. Terrifier. I'm okay with them going, doing those that a million times. Because Art the Clown, it's about him. You don't even, I know there's like that main girl from the first two movies. But if she doesn't come back and you just do Art versus terror, you know, terrorizing a different ca ca characters. Okay, because like, ultimately these movies are watching for Art. So I'm kind of, I'm okay with those getting a million sequels. You know, like the classic slashers. But just the sequel culture in now is weird, man. They're just so ready to make anything a sequel these days. And a prequel or a prequel. So just wanted to talk about that really quick. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm going to peace out here. y'all later. Peace. <coughs> <coughs>